Next question is from Sarah Stone. Any advice for women who want or need to eat more and put on weight, but are inundated with media telling them to eat less, do more cardio, etc.? Turn off your media. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you. You know, <laughs> uh, um, now more than ever, we have to guard our attention. And you, because it's our attention is so precious, right? We're constantly distracted by everything all the time. We're, it's never quiet, never time to ourselves when we're doing nothing. Um, we have these phones with these media apps that are just constantly entertaining. Yeah. And you have to be honest with yourself. And here's the truth. It does influence your behaviors. As much as you think you're self-aware and I could read this and it's not going to affect me, mm -hmm. the truth is it, it, it does. It does e either a small amount or over time a large amount. And so the best thing you could do is go through your social media mm -hmm. and delete, stop following all stop these- Stop following idiots. I got to give a shout out to Lori Christie King. I think she does a fantastic job of, of this is literally like her directive. This is who the audience that she's, uh, you know, uh, really speaking to uh, in terms of like feeding the body and making sure that uh, you're getting adequate amount of-, of of calories and and really fueling your workouts and, and building a body that you know is desirable it's not about you know starving yourself and just doing cardio to get down in weight i love her content you know this is a conversation that i was having with my aunt that i just kind of mentioned recently where uh and i'm and i'm trying to rethink how i explain this or help people in this case because I do forget sometimes we're in our little bubble where we just assume, oh man, things have changed. There's there's more women lifting weights, and mm -hmm. you know they're you know the finally everyone's getting it. It's like no, it's it's not that way at all. Actually, it's still uh, a massive uh, minority in comparison to uh, the average person, yeah. the general population. Most people are fall in this category, just like my aunt. Like I mean, and she's sharing with me the stuff that she she's drawn to Beachbody's workout. She's drawn to the articles. That they post and then what they write about and the quick three day cleanse and the thirty minutes to this and most people still are all all drawn to that content and they want mm -hmm. the they want the results as fast as they possibly can and those those types of articles uh, they're drawn to so this is a tough battle for us especially since for the longest time we resisted uh, marketing this way to get these people's attention but the the more the longer we get into this business six years now. You know, I think to myself, like, I don't know if we're ever going to win uh, this way by us just talking on this podcast, hoping that these, pe <laughs> these, these people right. find us. You know, we're going to have to find a more creative way to kind of rope them in with that type of advertising and mm -hmm. then do a flip the script on them and then teach them really how they're supposed to do this. Because I'm having this conversation with her and when we're, we're actually looking over her diet, we're talking about the next 30 days and she's telling me how she just needs to, she wants to lose 15 pounds as fast as she can. And... When I tell her, like, okay, so we, we went over everything, and she's like, okay, we're all good. She's agreed to the diet. She likes what's going on. And then I said, okay, so what I want you to do is make sure that you're you're weighing at least on a weekly basis. I would love to see daily, and I, I don't want you to lose any weight. And she looked at me like all crazy. Like, no, 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 you, this whole, I thought you put me on a plan to lose 15 pounds. And I said, well, is it just the 15 pounds on the scale that all you care about? Or is it you want to change the way your body looks? Like you want to look leaner and more defined. Yeah. And you know, and you want to lose it forever? Or? Right, right. So I tell her that. And she's like, well, yeah, yeah. I said, well, then, then the scale is not the fastest way to the better body. Sure, we can move the scale faster by doing tons of cardio and starving your body. And that will move the mm -hmm. scale faster than building muscle. Mm -hmm. But nothing will change your body faster than me getting you to eat more nutrient-dense foods that you need because when I look at your diet, you're lacking, grossly lacking protein. She was eating like 30, 40 grams of protein a day. Barely essential. She was right. barely hitting the essential Right, number. and so I'm like, you're, you're, we're, we're not feeding your body what it needs to build muscle, and then we need to prioritize strength training, and then the goal is as we're eating better and more food is to actually just maintain the scale because then I know we're, we're, we've got a nice exchange going on. If you're following what I wrote for you and you're doing everything – then I know your body's going to start to build muscle. When you were that low of protein, I bump you to where you're at now, feed you more calories, and get you training. Your, your body is actually changing the fastest it possibly could, but we get so caught up in the scale and wanting to drop down and these articles and stuff that, you know, and, and it's not just women, men too, but women in particular, I think, have been targeted the, the hardest in this area. And the, the same advice I give to my aunt as I'm going to give to you is the actually fastest way to get your body to look the way most people are wanting it to look, which is leaner, tighter, more tone, whatever fucking advertising words you want to use. 
the fastest way is actually for you to build muscle, eat more calories initially, and build some strength and focus there first. And then just like I told her, give it two or three months of us being consistent. And then I may take away three to three to 500 calories and then watch your body just lean out super fast. Yeah, totally. I mean, I, you know, I'm going to circle back, like stop following these pages. It's your attention, yeah. uh, you know, treat it, uh, you know, treat it like gold. I mean, I, I had to do this for politics and news because I found myself getting annoyed and stressed out and worried. And so I just stopped following a bunch. I just stopped watching it. And you know what happened? A week, it took a, it took a week and I felt way better, yep. way better, the same way thing. different. And it's like, man, that had such an impact over my quality of life. Yeah. All I had it's to do- what you're taking in. You just got to like take inventory on that and be keep yourself accountable. What are you taking in uh, and find what you need to hear? Totally.